tell them to come to New Hampshire and watch it at 8 o'clock in the morning at the Pancake House. We had a full house of people who were here this morning, not only to eat the really good food here, but to listen to me for almost, almost two hours. And if that doesn't give you faith and trust in the fact that our democracy can work, then nothing will. And I can't thank you enough as a candidate that you all spend the time that you do. JP made a joke, you know, off the top about, you know, um, uh, you know, got to see me three or four times, you know, before you decide who you want to vote for. I have to tell you the truth. I take that as a compliment. I do, because it shows how much you care about vetting the candidates who are going to be left for the rest of the country. Because after you all vote, there'll be a lot of candidates that are going to leave this race. And you're going to be the ones who are going to decide who's left for the other 48 states to decide. And the fact that you take that responsibility so seriously gives me renewed confidence in doing it and coming here and working as hard as we're working and having done 29 town halls already. And I don't know how many we're going to wind up doing by the time we get to February 9th, but if we're at 29, I did, I've done four in the last 24 hours. I started yesterday at 8 o'clock in the morning. We did three yesterday, and then we did this one this morning. So we did four in 24 hours. So if we keep up at that pace, I don't know how many that'll, because I'm not a math major. I don't know how much that'll be. But for you guys who are really good at math, you can figure it out for me. But it'll be a lot. We'll be back next week. And I'll be here every week between now and February 9th to make sure that as many people in New Hampshire get to see me as they can. So thank you for coming this morning. I appreciate it.